to uh, usually achieve for something. But the facts that are written down in the narrative, they'll come back with a red mark and say, well, that's, that's, that's not really a robbery. That's more of a larceny, so it takes you right away out of the violent mm-hmm. category mm-hmm. and they're making them redo it. Mm-hmm. And to what end? They're manipulating statistics. The dog and pony show really becomes evident with the use of strike force and housing. They write and tell everybody. They, they tell policies. And, and for every it's traffic nonsense. infraction, when I write a ticket, sorry you passed the stop sign. I just gave you, well, I, I arrested you, and I gave you an appearance ticket. That's your ticket. So, what normal lay people say, I, I ain't been arrested if you went for a job. You ever been arrested? Oh yeah, you had a, you had a speeding ticket 18 months ago? Yeah, well, you were arrested. So they're using that statistic and on these roadblocks during rush hour where some nurse is coming home, you don't have an inspection, and by the way, uh, your insurance lapsed. Okay, is she guilty of both of them? Is it our job? Absolutely. But is it also very convenient to bolster your statistics? Now I just got two more arrests. And if I did it in front of the projects, I got two more arrests in the projects, even though we know damn well housing guys are getting funded by the federal, but they're not in the housing projects. That's his little team to run around where he tells you to go and make arrests to add to the stats. That's arresting your way out of the a, a, a problem can't be done, but fooling people with numbers it is. And that's one big part of it. It's not saying the way they hide it. It's a non-emergency number in the 311. If you call to complain, you want to make a complaint, but what they did now is they kind of gave the onus of the public to determine what they may perceive an emergency to be. You can call 311 and be like, you know what, I'm, there's these individuals selling drugs between this time and that time. And then it gets written up as a little thing, sent out as an email, and we'll get work done <laughs> after the fact when they're already gone. You have to not look at the homicide, you have to look at the amount of people that have been shot. PCMC saves way more people than anybody knows. I'd just be thankful that it's there. Over t- the stuff that I have seen there is incredible. That's an aside, but there, the devil's in the details, the detail's there.